Welcome to a new daily top ask reddit video. Today's topic. Mal Santas of reddit, what is the weirdest thing a kid asked for Christmas? Removed. There's two possible outcomes to this, either the kid is an aspiring surgeon with a budding interest in anatomy, or a future serial killer. Edit, why not both? Guess what? None of you are original. Or to be alcoholic. Wednesdays at that age when a young girl has only one thing on her mind. Homicide. After waiting two hours in line my daughter asked Santa for a hot dog. My daughter asked for pancakes one year. It was very cute. But then I had to get up and make pancakes on Christmas morning instead of being lazy. My daughter is two and this was her first year talking to Santa. She asked for pancakes too. Heads to hot dog on a stick after Santa is real, mom. Reindeer eggs so he could start his own franchise. That kid's name. Jeff Bezos. That's just his real head. I'm a teacher. I had one of my most difficult, obstinate, button pusher kids come in at recess to talk to me. He said he was worried he would not get what he really wanted to be a real elf, move to the North Pole and make all the presents. He had tears in his eyes and was the most sincere I had ever seen. Made me really appreciate how hard life was at home, he just wished for a way out. When I was like nine I wrote a goodbye letter to my parents telling them Santa was going to pick me up and take me to the North Pole. I sat out in our car and waited on Santa to show up and take me away. The most dumb thing about this was that it was the middle of the summer. Hope isn't dumb. That's not dumb. They gotta make the presents year-round. Source materials, coordinate shipments, hire contractors, repair machinery. It's a year-round business. Summer would actually be prime time to hire. Damn. That hits hard. Many years ago a small girl would not tell her mother what she wanted for Christmas. Mom told me the problem and I was to tell her after the kid jumped off my lap. The little girl hopped up and told me she wanted some makeup and some tits. Okay now I have to tell mom. Your little calf is ready to become a cow. Jimmy, you broke Santa. Shouldn't that be Sally? My uncle was a Santa and he told me that one year a kid asked for a coffee maker because he wanted to start his own Starbucks coffee stand instead of a lemonade stand. Apparently business was not very good as a lemonade stand but he noticed a lot of adults drink coffee, so he'd make coffee. That kid is probably a millionaire now. My older daughter, 10, timed her lemonade stands for when there were open houses in the neighborhood and she could catch all the strangers coming to look at the new house. She also talked her sister into being the frontline seller because people like buying things from cute little girls with blue eyes. It was both some impressive observation and somewhat creepy how matter-of-fact she was about it. I just hope she doesn't end up becoming the next Elizabeth Holmes. She has a good instinct for marketing. I know the weirdest thing I asked for was a pen that could write like a pen, pencil, marker, and crayon. I'd never seen one but was sure Santa could make it. I got a four-color pen instead. All they needed to do was put a marker on one, a crayon on another, and a pencil in the last. Good idea. Was a Santa at a party last week. A kid asked for a whistle that she could blow at night to wake her mom up and scare her when she was sleeping. I said no, that would put you on the naughty list, let your mom sleep you little gremlin. Mom laughed. Good Santa. During college, I was a department store Santa. One little girl, with her mother looking on at a distance, whispered. Please bring a boyfriend for mommy. Ever since daddy died she's been so lonely. That's what I really want for Christmas, Santa. I looked up at her loving mother, and back at the girl, and felt a lump in my throat. Missed opportunity. Daddy looks a lot like Santa. Goddamn if this was a Hallmark movie, you'd have asked the mom out and become that girl's stepfather. This is absolutely the plot of a movie. And a couple pornos. Santa did you fuck my mom? Did you fuck my fucking mom Santa? Ho 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 yeah. I was an assistant manager for a male Santa with her programs. There was a special needs 20-something black guy that would come by nearly every day. He easily weighed more than 250 pounds so we did eventually convince him to sit next to Santa instead of on his lap. Every time he had to remind Santa what he wanted for Christmas. His list was Home Alone on DVD, Straight Outta Compton on DVD, and Prince's 1999 album on CD. 
Santa was awesome and brought him the Prince CD a few days before Christmas. What year was this? Please say recently. 2016. So literally last night we took my kids to see Santa and when asked what she wants for Christmas she says, a surprise. Santa was so surprised he didn't know what to say. What is the surprise you can't keep us hanging? We won't know till Christmas, shhhh. A piece of toast. I like bread. Username checks out. Yeah toast. My sister asked Santa for black men for Christmas. She meant men in black. My aunt apparently, even young, sat on Santa's lap and asked for three black babies. To this day no one in our family knows what she meant. Kids are weird. She probably literally wanted three black babies. For me to stop upholding this charade. You sit on a throne of lies. You smell like beef and cheese. I worked in Russia as snow maiden. This is a Christmas character here, Santa Claus' granddaughter. One of the children in a wheelchair asked to walk again. It was hard. Upped. For peoples, who wanted funny answer. In my practice was a boy, who wanted a girlfriend. He was five to six years. Jesus, how do you respond to something like that? How would I respond to that? I'd say this I think. Listen. Everybody is different. Some people are big and tall and can reach things high up on a shelf. Some people are small and short so they can fit in small places, maybe to rescue someone's cat. Some special people can't walk. But that's okay. They can do things even I can't. I knew a scientist who was super smart, and he couldn't move at all. I know standing up is something you want to do, but I don't want you to worry about that. Because I'm going to send you something special instead. It's not going to be in a box, or wrapped, or in your stocking. It's going to be inside you on Christmas morning. You're going to be able to do something others have real trouble doing. I'm not sure what it will be yet. Maybe I'll help you learn to play a violin better than anyone you know. Or maybe you'll learn to be a super scientist. Maybe you'll discover a way to help people. I'm not sure yet. I need to think about what you could do best. But it will be there that morning. I promise. But it's not all going to be there. You're going to have to work hard to be the best. I'll get you started. But it will be up to you to try lots of new things until you find it. And then you're going to be awesome. Edit, well. I'm touched folks. A couple of things. I'm not the Santa in question that had the child ask to walk again. Another person simply asked, how do you respond to that? I just figured I'd answer honestly what I'd probably say. I just started typing and all that came out. Your comments have made me feel great. So I'm going to see what I can do to actually help a child like this. I'm only in my 40s, so I'm not sure what kind of Santa I'd make, but maybe I can come up with a new personality. Santa Junior. I'm not religious at all but giving is a virtue. Give what you can. Even if it's just something simple like a magic trick to make a child smile. It doesn't have to be money. Are you crafty? Make little things you can give people on a whim. Make a couple extra lunches tomorrow in case you see a homeless person, or just a friend at work who couldn't afford lunch. I like to make lots of extra snacks and give them out. Together we can change the world. I'm actually working a holiday event right now, so it's hard for me to reply to everyone using just my phone but I'm trying. What I certainly did to expect was a pile of platinum awards. I blinked and suddenly I had a pile of them. It took me like a half hour to type up this edit, so I probably just got 20 more awards. What I ask is don't buy any more for me. They really don't do anything. Your positive comments and praises are enough for me. Damn, are they enough? I feel elated tonight. I mean I won't say no if you had em just lying around and what not, wink wink nudge nudge. But I'd like you all to try to be just a little giving this week, like the examples I gave above. If you can do a little miny this year I'd love you to be part of my favorite charity fundraiser of the season. HTTPSWorldBuilders.org I'm sure many of you already heard of it. Author Patrick Fuss raises gobs of money for Project Heifer to help others in third world countries. I don't need a platinum but someone over there could use a goat. Even a couple bucks can help someone in need. It all adds up.
And if that isn't enough, you can check out my other favorite charity that helps parrots. They have feelings just like us, dogs. The World Parrot Trust at www.parrots.org Those are the two I give to every year. By the way, I encourage everyone to pick one or two charities they really believe in and stick to them. You don't have to help every charity you see. Pick a couple and stick to them. Other giving people will help where you can't. Thanks everyone. God July. Tip the kid over and tell them good luck.